What's going on everybody? This is Justin with me, myself, and Dice's channel dedicated to solo board games. And today we're starting a new series called Let's Get Organized. This is a series where we're going to take a look at different storage options and how I store some of my games. And hopefully you guys will share how you store some of your games as well. Organization in board games is important to me because I want to pull a game off the shelf, get it set up as quickly as possible, and then on the other end, torn down as quickly as possible while everything stays nice, neat, and organized. Because I want to spend the majority of my time playing a game. And then when I have a short amount of time to film, that helps me get set up, play through the game, and get it put away very quickly. Today we're looking at one of my all-time favorite games and an insert that was sent to me, full disclaimer, by eRaptor. Now before they sent me this insert, this game was a nightmare because my usual homebrew system just didn't work. And the game is Gaia Project. As you can see, Gaia Project is a pretty thin box and a ton comes in it. There's a lot of cardboard, there's a lot of pieces, and my usual homebrew just set up way too tall for that to be viable. So I was storing it all in baggies, which is just a nightmare with this game. So let's take a look at the before and the after and let's go through how to organize Gaia Project. Welcome down to the table everyone where I have everything built ready to show you how to organize this in the box or at least how I organize it. There is no instructions on how really to organize it and I did my best based on the pictures and then kind of fiddled around with it until I found the best way that I like to organize it. Now one of the things that I like to organize with is a game like this that has a lot of pre-shuffled features and randomly generated features is to pre-shuffle them as I'm packing the box up so that it's ready just to pull out and go when I get it out for the next game. So the first thing I did, I went ahead and put our player pieces in these trays. There's a thinner one and a thicker one. So you put your cubes and your markers in that one and your buildings in the thicker one. Now, one thing I've found is you want to wiggle those buildings around and get them below this edge as much as possible. And it does take a little finagling but they get flat and that doesn't impede the stacking when you put them into the box. And we'll go through how to put it back in the box. I also have all of our tokens right here for our markers for resources. And I have our QIC already in here as well, just to make it a lot easier and less picking up off the table. I like to start with these Federation tokens I just place in this small area right here because all I need to do is stick a finger in there and grab those. The same with our space stations. Just easy to grab out of there. And finally, our action tokens I place right here just because that makes them easy to just put a finger in there and slide one up. Now, our Federation tokens I have this kind of set up for solo. There's enough room left over for this. So I put my Federation tokens here 
but then put my solo ones, the ones that I only need one of each, right here. Now for our round scoring tiles, this is where I go ahead and shuffle these up and place these face down. Because these are randomized in each game, so I just place them face down right there. For my Gaia planets, I put those right here. Again, easy and ready to grab. Now we have several things. I don't, these are the leftover standard tech tiles. I don't need these for solo, but I may need them for a multiplayer, so they're organized and placed right here just standing upright and then i take the ones that i'm going to use and i shuffle those up and place those backwards also in that train so i can easily just pull those up there the first ones there then we take our advanced tech tiles again these are shuffled up and i place them right here And then our final scoring tiles, again, these are shuffled up. I place them right there. So I can easily pull those out of the box. Then we have a couple pieces left over and I've found it's easier to put the space tiles in first. So I have those organized by number and they go in just so. And they sit down nice and neat. And then I take our round boosters. Again, I've shuffled those up because you don't use every one of those in a game. And I've stacked them right there. They fit very nice and neat right there. And then these I just tuck under. I really don't use the first player marker that much. And this I tuck under as well because sometimes it comes out, sometimes it doesn't. Now, here's what we have left. We have, obviously, the player boards. And these just fit snugly right in this tray so nice and neat right there okay now that we have everything packed in a spot let's get it back in the box i found the easiest way to get it back in because everything fits very snugly is to start with this right there pushing it as far into that corner as i can now my resource tray i like to put that on the bottom because these little markers like to slot around on top because i store mine vertically like this on a shelf. And then I start with these in the order that I like and make sure they'll sit fine. Just make sure that you get these all the way over or you're not gonna have room. There's no room for movement in this, which is a good thing. Put those in and remember what I said that you have to kind of push these down, wiggle them around a little bit so that they don't impede what's on top. Okay, all snug in there. There's no movement all around. Give them one little shake and then I go to this. And that's going to sit right there. Again, I wanna make sure that I push that into that corner. I put my QIC resource tray. Again, those don't seem to come out and float. And then I go back and put these in right on top. Again, making sure that they go over as far as they can. And it takes a little manipulation with this, but it is snug once it's in there. They interlock very nicely. Now, one thing I've noticed is when you put these together, if you can alternate these little cutouts, they make it fantastically easy to grab stuff. But if you put them straight together like this, they will transfer over when moved around. So if you can flip them over like this so that the notches are opposites, that helps a lot and then everything's nice and snug in there then we have our player board goes right on top of this keeps everything in nicely like i said i bag my cards so i just kind of float them underneath there and those are just the ai cards so it's not that big a deal and then i have this and this so that is Gaia Project, all nice and neat. Let's go back up top. Now remember, I don't do reviews on this channel and I'm not endorsing a product. I simply wanted to do a how to organize video so that if you have this product, you know how to get it back in the box. And if you're looking for an organizational product to find out if this is something that you would enjoy or not based on your taste and how you like to organize. Now something I do look forward to in an insert is when I'm playing multiplayer to hand you your tray of your pieces and say, here you go. Everything you need there is to set up. I also like being able to play out of a tray. 
So I know these go on your mat, you're just gonna pull one out of each one, but I can pass this around or whatnot. But playing solo, even more so, I can just grab it and leave this in the box. It's fantastic. And I can grab just four trays, two for each color, one for the AI and one for me. And everything fits really snug in there. The only thing I've had to do is because I sleeved my cards, I did have to split these up. They didn't stand up. They were a little too tall for the edge of the box. But the big thing here is that you saw how much of a disaster the organization was, and this solves my problem. It gets it to the table quickly, and I'm ready to play, and it just makes it so much more enjoyable to set up and tear down. So how do you organize Guy Project? I would love to see it, whether it be a third-party insert or a homebrewed insert. You can find our Facebook page in the description below and post a picture in the community. I'm sure everybody would love to see that. If you enjoyed this content, think about hitting that like, smashing that subscribe, and tapping that bell icon so you're notified whenever a new video goes live. We do playthroughs of solo games on this channel as well as painting videos. This has been the first in our Let's Get Organized series. What are your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments down below. And until next time, thanks for watching and happy gaming.